Oh, jeez, man. Hey, guys. Uh, Dick Johnson here. It's been a while. Um, I, I kind of wanted to give you guys a life update. Uh, I heard that you guys had a really negative episode. Um, I'm sure my brother Penis would not be happy to hear this, but um, life's actually been going pretty well for Dick Johnson over here. Um, I got remarried um, to my, my ex-wife who cheated on me with my brother, but uh, we actually made up. She told me that uh, he loved me her in the way that I used to, and like I, I really had a personal like understanding about myself. Um, and uh, after a little bit, a couple therapy, we really started to see eye to eye again. Um, and uh, anyhow, I just wanted to let you guys know my kids are uh, very happy that they have their father back, and uh, they're happy that their their uncle they're, that they have. <laughs> 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 that they're that they're, they're uncle, their that uncle they're, <laughs> that they're, their uncle penis uh is their uncle again not their uh their father anymore <laughs> <coughs> anyhow um fuck what did i do wrong oh jeez man hello i'm penis johnson oh jeez man i got corrective voice surgery so i don't have an annoying fucking voice anymore I'm upset that my brother Dick Johnson has married our both of our ex-wives now um, and taken my kids cock and ball. Wait, what are you talking about? They're genetically mine. Prove it. Um, I raised them, bitch. Well, whether or not they oh, came out, they, whether or not they no, were I birthed so from my loins, oh, they are my fucking children. Hell. Well, it was my loins. That doesn't... I, I, genetically, their father. Hey, nobody wants to hear about your loins, Dick Johnson. Okay, everybody I, wants to hear okay. about Dick Johnson's loins. They've grown to both. Oh. <laughs> hey, Seth. Hey. Uh, oh, shit. I'm, oh, hey, I, I had hey, to kick up? Dick Johnson out the room. Uh, yeah, he was talking about his loins and shit. Oh, my God, yeah. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I don't know. I am so sorry, hey, penis. Hey, uh, I forgot to tell you we should we should have made a game plan for this episode oh don't worry i have a well i have to do one more thing at least what i was gonna say get the stone mask like now yeah and then you think we, so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Cool, I'm and down. then go to meet romani at two. <laughs> oh shit yeah did you forget about that just a little well, bit we have we have time though so we can go no worries. get a red potion by rescuing Kotake or whoever, whichever one it is from the swamp. Mm -hmm. And then we can get the, the stone mask. And we should have enough time to do that before 2. Because it's only... It's not even 8pm yet. Yeah. Way too hard. Yeah. Um, wow, I really hit myself really hard in the sternum. I can still feel it. I hope that was worth it. Bro, just warp, please. For Seth, the love of you, it's giving me Christ. Where do you want me to look to? The swamp. Oh, okay. We, we have time, but we don't have all the time. That's right. Able to, you know. um, speaking of time... What's up, dude? Plants. Yeah? Who? Uh, Seth, you better really plant your feet down if you really want to make oh, this a joke. Shit. Come on, dude. This is a fucking bits episode. That's why I was trying I can't to, leave I you alone on this joke, dude. Uh, Come the hell on. Cumin? Oh, okay. Cumin? <laughs> Coming. I'm coming. <laughs> anyway, um. so here's a bit, right? Yeah. Um, there's a guy named Charles, uh -huh. and this guy named Charles, right? Right. He is right. gay. Oh, 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 yeah, of course. Um. Which is relevant because he likes it up the butt, obviously. Sure. Like, he's a bottom. Of course. Not, not all gay people like it up the butt. I don't know what you want, man. Um, Sorry. Was, he... Was Can you swim through this? Sort of. Huh. You're, you're tall enough to just walk. That's whack. I've never done that. Um, so this guy named Charles, right, he, he, he's a bottom, and yeah. he's a gay man. Sure. And he, one day his, like, 
ass was hurting. Yeah, for course. obvious reasons. And you have to go find her in the woods first. I know. And um, we did this. So reason. he so he sits down on a on a seat, right? He's mm-hmm. like, "Ah, shit, my my butt hurts. Like, I can't sit right." Yeah. On, on this common problem. Um, and then I get that after a vigorous wipe sometimes. Yeah. So you can you can you know I was gonna show you the way and try to be impressive, but. It's it's left, right, right, straight, left, left. Wait, left, right, right, straight. Okay. Unlike Charles. Mm-hmm. Left, left. Left, left. Okay. Also, half of the reason that I wanted to show you uh, Dungeons and Daddies is because they take inspiration from dad jokes. Yeah. And I love that. And I lo- I yeah, knew you I would also too. Love that. And all the other people take damage from Dutch. Yeah, second thing. Um, so this guy Charles, right? He's sitting on a chair. He can't sit right. And his uh, do I have to be a? Uh, and his oh, friend yeah. says, "Well, maybe you should sit left." Hmm? <laughs> I'm gonna get that later, and I'm gonna love it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I definitely didn't hear you oh, because you know okay. ADHD brain. I was like, yeah. ma- I was so busy mashing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But also, like, I heard left. That was the last word you said, and then that yeah, was it. That was the joke. No, okay. I didn't hear the rest of the context though. That's the problem. It's okay, you'll get it later. Cool. Everybody else got it. I'm sure they loved it. Um. Wake the fuck up, here's, bitch! Your here's another on bit. Well. Top ten. Uh, Zelda waifus go. Uh, number one, uh, well, as we established, uh, Crimea. Crimea. Yeah. Number two, uh, cool, thank you. Ocarina of Time, Zelda. Nice. Number three, Breath of the Wild, Zelda. Yeah. Uh, number four, Adult Malin. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. Very important that the adult part is there. Yeah. Because Kid Malin is uh, cute in the way that kids are cute. Mm-hmm. Anyhow. <laughs> number five. Number six. <laughs> oh, number five. Number five. Twilight Child, Child Malin. Zelda. What? What? Seth. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> number seven. Wait, what the hell? Pedophilia is not a joke. No, it's not. Oh, t- have I told you that one of my coworkers drives a, a pedophile van? I, I'm glad that that's where you're going with that and not something horrific. No. I'm never going to tell the story of my pedophile coworker on the show. Oh. Anyways, that okay, was, that well, was what about, from what about when I was your, a child. What about your pseudo pedophile van driving coworker? Oh. Just warped a clock time. No, it, it, it she Locked just out. drives a whited out van. What's up? Clock it out. Okay, I'm trying to help your ADHD brain. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, so this is a current coworker. Yeah, and she drives like a a whited out van yeah. that actually also has like uh, stuff to live in, which is kind of crazy. Uh, simultaneously, and I don't think yeah. she lives in it all the time, but like still sleeps in there sometimes. Mm-hmm. But I just think it's funny that. It's literally like a pedophile van. Yeah. I've, so what I've about, made the joke. What about now, right? your actual pedophile coworker? That was from when I was sixteen, working yeah. at fast food. Um, uh-huh. And if you, if you, if you don't on? know, uh, which I I don't know if you even know, Seth. Uh, people in prison have like a code that uh, they use when they tell each other like what they did. Uh-huh. That it makes it that, like because like a lot of stuff is pretty bad, obviously. Sure. So they don't want to say it outright. So uh, one of okay, yeah, okay, okay. I'm trying to help you while you're telling your story. Okay, yeah, yeah. thank you. So um, this one. Yep. Cool. And then you're gonna want to get on and on and ride. So yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, so your coworker. So. So one of my coworkers went to prison, and the other one also went to prison, right? Sure. So they'd had a conversation mm-hmm. where, essentially, they asked... <laughs> <laughs> I 
Do you want me to play the game while you no, tell the okay. story? Are you, uh, are you good? No, that's the summertime you butt munch. <laughs> oh wow, wait, we're doing a bit. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> next bit. Uh, next bit. Okay. Playing the song of time instead of real, the bonus real song. Real quick. Don't press A, please. For the love of Jimmy. Okay, anyway. I would cream my pants in anger. Anyways, what was it, Seth? Left. A, left. No, not A. a. Up, left, right. Up. Uh, okay. There we go. Anyways. <laughs> so, essentially, they were having a conversation where they were talking about, like, what did you do? One of them, I knew for a fact, just went to prison for uh, selling meth. That was, like, sure. that was pretty obvious. Like, they just were like, yeah, I, I did that. Like, fuck, I shouldn't have. Worst time of my life. Like, pretty honest. Mm-hmm. Anyways, so the other one had the question, what did you, what did you go into prison for, right? Mm-hmm. His answer was internet crimes oh which seth there's only about one crime that people go to prison for on the internet selling bitcoins illegally god i wish it's yep it's uh cp which is all i'm willing to say oh Oof. Um, yeah 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 uh that if you don't know what it is don't look it up yeah. Uh, because it's then you bad. will get the FBI after you, and yeah. you don't really want to even know what it is, and you're better off not knowing. They and I was better off not knowing that my coworker, when I was still underaged, was absolutely definitely a pedophile. Mm-hmm. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. That was what's illegal event. about combat power in Pokemon Go? Though? I mean, <laughs> no, <laughs> Dingle Hopper, don't go in here. What? He's, you're in the room that the guys are in currently. Oh my bad. You're right, you're right. There's a circle of rocks. You gotta use the lens of truth. You absolute fucking handsome man. Thank you. Okay. Oh, put him on the screen, handsome man. That's what Tanner looks like. Thank you. Thanks for doing a face reveal for the bit. Oh, of course. Yeah. Um... Uh, you can, I've done a lot of this. Oh, oh, will you please just fucking... uh, Can you get me some medicine? That's... You're a fucking genius. I know. Thank you. Now I can finally be on your echelon a little bit. <laughs> You're such an asshole. <laughs> Hell yeah, I feel better, I think. Thanks. Oh, here in gratitude. Dude, thank you. I can finally fucking just go. Yeah. Cool. Shiro. Shiro. Thank you, Shiro. I will I will and use this we, mask. Now we got a Yido Verdo Lamon. Or Lamon. Romani Ranch. Hey, respectfully. Yeah. Um, I might have fucked up a little bit. Why? Because you can't use your sword. That too. Or any items. That too. Oh. Wait, you can't use any of your items, seriously? Well, I just put on a mask, so no. I was just... Then you can warp it. This way. Or unless you want to take that. I'm nice, sorry, I nice can do ride. what to? Or, oh, because you can't do that. Hmm. Yeah. I wonder, was hmm. wondering when that would occur to you. I wonder why, how... <laughs> okay. <laughs> So anyway, um, what the here's a bit motherfuck. about why won't the opponent not jump, bitch? Jump, jump, you whore. That, so you told a sorry, rude story and or not a rude story, a negative story and uh, which wasn't a bit, which is what we promised. Yeah. And I tried to make a bit out of it, but then it's like cool. Now I'm just making light of a rough situation. <laughs> didn't feel it didn't sit right with me, you know. No, I feel you. Just kind of like Charles. <laughs> couldn't say right. I still don't know, dude. I still don't know. Hey, I br- come on. That was, I brought it. I, I circled it back to no, earlier thank you. bit. That was a, that was a great okay. bit. Hey, can I, uh, can I, can I bring oh, it back to, like... In your Anyways, I'm sorry that I brought it down to a negative place. I mean, I kind of asked you about it because I was curious, so I'm also partially at fault. Yeah. I mean, it, it was just like a, oh, I have to avoid this guy kind of thing. It wasn't like, he never really, like, approached me or anything. Mm-hmm. Probably wasn't his type. Still, I was, like, almost an adult. Wait, oh, so you were concerned for your safety because you were still a child? Yeah, a oh. little bit. Okay. I didn't realize there was that aspect of this. Yeah, that, that part was really uncool. I didn't okay. like that particularly. That particular part of... My life. Milk Road. 
more like Silk Road. Milk toast, am I right? Oh. Hey Tanner, can you put milk toast on the screen? I think we already did that, like that, what, one episode ago. Hit the fucking owl statue, you <laughs> bingo popper. <laughs> this is getting funnier as it brothers bothers my brother more and more. You're a fucking dingus <laughs> McCoy. Hey, uh, fun thing, we're like hella early. I know. So you have enough time to go hit the owl statue. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually go uh, finish that. Uh, Do the that, dog that. race. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, while you, while we are waiting, I'm gonna go pee. Okay. So you can no cut the episode. Yeah, I got you. No. Oh, nice. That's a pretty solid clean cut. Okay, now cut. Okay, you can cut. Okay, it's important to note that I'm not actually gonna cut at all. Oh. I think my brother forgot about this. Anyhow. I'm doing it for the bit. What bothers you about the Sonic movie set? Now that we're back, officially. <laughs> the fact that in the first movie, yeah, they do a bit. Mm -hmm. Speaking of bits, where he's like, "I want to go see the ocean." Mm -hmm. <laughs> comes back all wet, right? Yeah. So, okay, it's my been... interpretation of that is that he like went into the ocean, and then didn't he say he hates water after saying that? Or maybe. I don't know, the only time I saw the first one is, like, what are you doing right now, by the way? What's up? What are you doing right now? What do you mean? We, we, don't, have, we don't have enough time for this, sir. What? We have time. No. Oh, don't worry. We don't. Don't worry, dude. Senor. Don't worry. Senor. It's okay. I set us up. You you can get both of them. What? And both of the remaining eggs in uh -huh. the next two hours of yeah, time. Yeah, Okay, fine. Uh... So right, they they make that joker. He runs all the way to from Montana Where, yes, to, the, to ocean. the ocean, presumably Pacific, and back in about a, a couple seconds, right? Yes. And yet in no other time does he ever use this insane speed power to do anything. You can you can take the shortcut. Yeah, I know. Okay. I was I was watching the cycle dude. Oh, okay. Um Respectfully. And in the second movie, light spoilers, there's a part where he has to snowboard away from an avalanche. Yes. But given the fact that he, he can run from Montana to the ocean and back in about five seconds. Yeah. He could have just fucking run away. Yeah. To the goddamn ocean in Siberia. That's fair. <laughs> like... I get that they're just doing a bit, but like, for fun. Also, sake. like, can we acknowledge the fact that he lost all of his rings? Yeah, and, and then, it was never brought up again. And then also, no and then immediately, very quickly after that, Knuckles became part of their team, and now he has rings again. Because that, that's what I assumed. Those uh, are that like, Knuckles has rings. Yeah, well, because well, Knuckles think he clearly, lost. yeah, no, Knuckles clearly had a, a bunch of rings. Yeah, he, like, yeah. Okay, I guess we're doing spoilers. <laughs> what? Okay, anyways. Um, if you haven't seen the Sonic 2 movie... Well, dude, it'll be... Months. It'll be probably pretty far out after we... Um... And... Also, I feel like he lost his rings so that they could have dramatic tension in that very scene where he snowboards down a mountain and has to call his dad to... Duh! Like... He bring lost him his back. rings the scene before that! Exactly, that's what I'm... That's what I'm saying. That's what... That's... Like, obviously. Come on, man. Bitch. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you wanna, uh, you wanna this like, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this. I do. This, this, them I do remember this pretty well. Um, I've done this a lot. Yeah. Anyway. So, yeah, that's my problem with the Sonic movies. But otherwise, they're just, like, kids' movies, so they're just, like, 
trying to have fun, and I'm, I'm there with it. Mm -hmm. Is it this one first? Plot, plot this, holes aside. Is this, yeah. this is new? Cool. Just making sure. It's important. Plot holes aside. It's... I don't think I have a lot of time. Oh. I'm still wearing the mask. You don't. Oh, sorry. You're the one who wanted to come here. Yeah, I did come here. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to keep the process speedy. Um, you never said your number five Zelda waifu, by the way. I wanted to continue that oh. bit. Oh, sorry. Uh, Minna. In inform, right? Oh, yeah. Wait, excuse me? <laughs> no, 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 the princess form. <laughs> yes. What do I uh, in Hyrule Warriors, it's called Twilight. There we go. Okay, I did that. Yep. Yes, yeah, Seth, I'm aware that I kind of... That I kind of was trying to goof around and may have almost screwed myself over and or did. Oh, fuck, it's already... Yeah, I can't do both. I believe in you. What? What are you talking about, Seth? It's literally... Hold on. We have to be there at 2.30. Oh, 2.30? Yeah. Okay. That's an important distinction. Which oh. is the a dentist's favorite time. Haha, <laughs> but it's... Okay, um... 2.30? 2.30. Oh, I get yeah. it. Duh. I got the goofer. Fucking dirt. Okay, I, like we don't need to turn the eggs in though, so as long as we just get them both, then. No, we're yeah, good. I was. That was where I was at with it. I'm glad that you told me that it was uh, 2.30, because that's important. Because, uh. Well, either way, we still gotta eat, so, like, don't get cocky, kid. I'm not getting cocky right now. I'm going right now. No joke. You're just gonna go to ran the ranch. Okay. Well, this was a massive waste of time. No, it wasn't. I got an egg. Yeah, but then we're going to have to go all the way back and get the last egg. Mm -hmm. So, fuck you, essentially. Yeah, more or less. I'm just glad I got a pony back. Because it's going to be important. Why uh, did you go to Oh, buddy. Because you didn't... Oh, God. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I just said out loud after you left the room. I was like, I'm I'm putting this in because I'm not fucking handing it. <laughs> okay. Anyways, he'll let Here's me leave. Here's my top five Zelda waifus. Ready? Okay. Number one. I gotta go with Power Warriors Zelda. Oh, okay. I, like, I hear you. She a fucking baddie. She she a baddie. Put her on the screen. No, I'm too nice. Why you didn't do that for myself? So you don't number, get to do that for yourself. <laughs> number two. Fuck you. Um, Breath of the Wild. Zelda. It's it was really between those two. Mm -hmm. Like, um, number three, Kremia. Okay. Number four, Shia. Number five. Uh. Oh, I'm pushing my horse too much, I feel bad. Probably like... I don't know. Like... Wait, hold on. Twilight Princess, all that, obviously. It has to be your sword, but much. Oh, okay. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> the real bit was all along was not <laughs> hitting the Romani range statue. <laughs> Now you're starting to get it. <laughs> oh, I got it. <laughs> oh, I got it. That's why I went and got an egg, actually, because I knew it would be less efficient, but I thought it would be funny. God damn it. Oh shit, it was a bit all along. Yeah. Don't waste your It's a bit episode, son. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I did. What a plot twist. <laughs> I don't know what my brother was expecting when okay. I asked him to get me the bit um, episode. Join us next time for the Romani Ranch invasion. And subsequent side quests. And probably and more Zora eggs. Uh yeah.